lack of unaided private schools in Maharashtra will not be obligated to fulfill the quota for economically backward sections if there is a government school within a radius of one kilometer. This according to the rules that have been amended by the state's education department. Academics say the move will prevent disadvantaged children from accessing private schools. Archana standing by with details of this latest notification and the changes it brings in. Archana. Good evening, Shireen. So a child in Maharashtra who is from an economically disadvantaged background is not eligible to take admission in a private and private unaided school if there is a government school in his or her area within a one kilometer radius. The Maharashtra Education Department has amended the Right to Education Act 2009 by publishing a gazette that relieves private unaided schools. The new rule kicks in from the 2024-2025 session. Also under the new rules, any unaided school selected under the RTE Act will not be reimbursed by local authorities for the cost incurred. Now, before I explain why the Maharashtra government is doing this, let me explain what the rules were before. So far, it was mandatory for all unaided and private schools to reserve 25% seats for children from primary to 8th standard from socially economically from socio-economically backward sections under the Right to Education or RTE which ensures free and compulsory education to children of age group 6 to 14 years. Now, these students get education free of cost, while the government reimburses their tuition fees to private schools. It includes books, tuition fees and uniforms. And that is where the problem lies. Now, reports suggest that the Maharashtra government owes a lot of money to these private schools. The amount is somewhere around 1,463 crore rupees. Some private school managements claim that the amount is even higher than 2,000 crore rupees. It's important to know that the government has to reimburse schools under RTE. But every year, this issue resurfaces during admissions. Private schools have been demanding the pending reimbursements from the state governments. And as a result, some of them have been denying admissions due to the lack of funds. And there has been a lot of resistance also. Now, how bad are things? In December last year, the Maharashtra English School Trustees Association or MESTA had warned that the 25% quota will be boycotted in the next academic year by all private schools unless the government reimburses the amount to them. As per MESTA president, reimbursements of 11,000 schools is overdue. Back to you. Archana, many thanks for joining us. That uh, gives us a perspective of where things currently stand. That is the notification that's just been issued by the Maharashtra government, which no longer makes it obligatory on private and private unaided schools to reserve 25% seats for those in the age group of 6 to 14 as under the right to education. With that, it is time for us.